The Contacts Master window in QuickBid is essentially an address book. You can enter information about your company and others you may do business with, such as GCs, subcontractors, architects, engineers, suppliers, and more. The Contacts window lives in the Master menu at the top of the screen. Master windows contain database level information, meaning the content is usable on every bid in the current database. You can create different categories to assign to your contacts in another master window called Contact Types. However, the Contact Types window is accessible while adding a new contact, so we'll review it during that process a bit later. Once the Contacts window is open, you'll see a list of all the available contact records in the current database. At the top of the contact list are several filters you can use to limit the number of contacts displayed on screen. You can select a single filter, or multiple to target a specific set of contacts. You can also sort the list by clicking on any of the column headings. The buttons on the right let you add, edit, delete, print, and import a list of contacts, as well as download suppliers directly from Construct Connect. Let's see how to add a new contact first. Start by clicking the New button. The Company Detail Master window displays. Next, Select what type of contact you want to use from the Type field. The default types are Architect, Business, Competitor, General Contractor, Owner, Personal, Subcontractor, and Supplier. Some types apply automatically in specific instances in QuickBid. For example, when looking up contacts from the Subs tab, the Contacts list automatically filters to the subcontractor type. If you want to add a new type, click the magnifying glass to access the Contact Types list master window. This is the master window I mentioned earlier. Simply click the New button to add a new line and name the new type whatever you want. You can delete types if no current contacts use that type. Back on the Company Detail window, I filled out the top section with as much information as possible about the contact. The only required fields are the type and company name. So if you don't know every bit of information about the contact, that's OK. You can always add more details later. If the contact you're adding is a supplier, be sure to enter a valid email address so you can submit eQuotes to the supplier later. For more information about eQuotes, see the training video, Sending and Receiving eQuotes. If you're adding your own company, you should check Use on Cover Sheet as Bidding Company. This option automatically adds your company information to the cover sheet on all new bids, reports, and proposals. The tabs at the bottom of the screen allow you to add additional detail to your contact record. For instance, if you have several contacts at a large firm, you can add these folks to the Contacts tab. Later, you can select the specific contact when you create a proposal for that company. The AEC Info tab is useful when adding subcontractors. You can pre-assign a cost code, quote adjust percentage amount, minority and women-owned business enterprise designations, and a trade. You can also enter a tax ID, license number, union status, insurance expiration date, and if they're bondable or not. Be aware these fields are informational and don't feed into your bid anywhere else. Finally, the Notes tab allows you to enter general notes about the contact record. If you need to edit an existing contact record, select the record and click the Change button, or double-click the record to open the Company Detail Master window. If you don't need a contact record anymore and it's not in use on any bids in the current database, you can delete it. Just select it and click the Delete button or press the Delete key on your keyboard. The Print button lets you print out all the data from the Contacts Master window. However, it doesn't include all the details of each contact. The last two buttons allow you to add multiple contacts to the contacts list at once. When you click the Import button, a disclaimer informs you that you must use a specifically formatted CSV file. You can find a pre-formatted file called contacts-import.csv on your computer already. It's in C, OCS Documents, QuickBid. Open the file in your preferred spreadsheet editor. From here, add your contact information to the next empty line. You don't need to fill out every field, but you should at least fill out the contact type and company fields. Don't worry about deleting any existing contacts in the spreadsheet. Any existing contacts update rather than duplicate, so you won't end up with extra records. Think of this as an opportunity to update any existing contacts if they have new phone numbers or email addresses. Once the spreadsheet is filled out, just save it and head back to QuickBid. After closing the disclaimer, browse to the file location and double-click the file to import it. 
Finally, you can use the Download button to add a list of local suppliers based on your state. Select your state and press the Yes, Download for this state button. Depending on the size of your state, this could add quite a few new suppliers. You may also notice some suppliers listed multiple times. Duplicates appear because each record contains a unique email address for specific people at the company, so you can send e-quotes to the exact folks who need them. Bear in mind that things can change rapidly. Always verify that a supplier is still in business and that the person listed at the contact is still working there before you send them an email.